I promised I would keep you guys updated, so drum roll, please. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paloma, if you're new here. I just received an email from the production that I auditioned for last night. Guys, I did it. Can you tell? I'm like sweating. Like, look at me. Oh my gosh. And I wanted to read the email with you guys together and I want to throw up. Uh, oh, I hate this part. Oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> Dear auditionee, thank you so much for your interest in the Adams Family through that theater. We greatly appreciate the time and effort spent preparing and auditioning for this upcoming show. We had a great turnout of talented actors. After reviewing all the performances we had at this time, you were not chosen to perform for the production of Adam's Family. Please know that casting was competitive and we encourage you to continue to audition with us in the future. We thank you again for coming to our theater and for sharing your talent with us. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. So that was a rejection email, my friends. Those are the kind of emails that actors just like, ping. Of course everyone was talented, of course. Obviously, I really, really wanted to go to callbacks um, just so I could make it to that step and really get to sing some of the Adams Family songs and really show them what I can do in that character. I'm trying to be honest with you guys in this moment, like how I'm feeling and I can just hear my brain be like, oh, if only I wouldn't have like gotten off the music or the pianist wouldn't have messed up and like it wouldn't have messed up the audition or like what if, what if that. I'm happy in what I gave last night, but I know it could have been better, which is what's like, I think hurting so much because that was not the best audition I could have given. Like, oh, if that mess up wouldn't have happened and if like you and the pianist would have just been together. But that's just showbiz. When you show up and you hand that music off, that is the first time you are ever running through that song with that person. That's like the first time. You only get to show up and be like, hey, I'm singing this song from here to here. And the tempo goes like this. Like, so yes, I can catch myself and beating myself up in the little details, but that is just like how auditioning is. And that's why you have to audition all the time because it's an exercise. You have to be able to catch yourself when the pianist and you are not on the same time. Like that is not the first time that has happened to me. I promise you it will probably not be the last. Like that's just the nature of this. It's all about just being prepared. So in whatever situation happens, like the last audition I went to I was singing my song and then I cut because that was like the 32 bars and then the pianist then looks over me and goes keep going I then like remember like looking over and then I like kept singing but then I was singing the wrong verse because I had not prepped to sing that part you know so like that audition I learned the lesson always be prepared to continue to sing if they see keep going because just because they ask for 32 bars doesn't mean they're not going to ask for more an audition before that they asked me what else do you have in your book so then they started flipping through the pages and i had to sing an entire other song that i had not prepared like did not sing that day so what did i learn that audition now i always have a song prepped in the back of my mind if they're like hey do you have another song in your book because that is a question that does happen these things happen all the time anything could happen all the time and all you can do is be prepared and that's what I'm gonna do just get myself so dang prepared so I can get myself in a show so you guys can come with me backstage and I can show you all the cool stuff because that's what we need we need to be in a show <laughs> So what do actors do when they receive a rejection email? Well, a couple of things. Actually, it honestly probably depends like the cut, you know, because for this scenario, I didn't go in like weeks and weeks of preparation and working with my coach and working with my teachers and really just like only focusing on this and just like picturing what it would be like if I get the role, which I do accidentally do when I am like in callbacks. For times when you prep for an audition and you just visualize yourself getting it and you can see what your life would be like if you receive it. And it's those callbacks slash auditions that 
it cut you need like a little minute as an actor to recover from it because like you put so much of your heart and your emotions and everything on the line that rejection hurts a little you know but that is the number one thing we are constantly always getting no's but when you get that yes it's so so good quick little shower rinse off the experience away and just Treat myself to a little nice beverage. This rejection didn't hurt so bad, so there's no tequila in this one. Just like a little drink to make myself feel good. Oh, oh, that's good. This is my first time tasting it. Ooh, that's really good. It tastes like one of those instant Starbucks frappuccinos that like you get like when you're on the go and you're on like a road trip. Mm. This is so good. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, this is kind of snuggly, too. I like this. I just got this. Isn't this so cute? And it also glows in the dark. I'll have to show you guys later. Can you see it? It's not like the best. Maybe tap on the screen. Is that working? Not really. So what's next? And honestly, this is a question us actors are constantly asking ourselves, even when we're in the middle of a project, we're like, so what's the next audition? What's happening next? And I think that that's what's so sad and beautiful about this work is that you basically turn in your whole heart and your being and your emotions and your everything into this character and this experience and this art. And then it just kind of ends. Then the show closes and it's that question of what's next? What's the next audition? And let me tell you, people are always asking, what's the next audition? And you know what? I would like to say on behalf of all your actor friends that we love how supportive you are, but it is a little stressful when you guys ask us, when's the next commercial? When's the next movie? Babe, I promise you, as soon as I book something, I will let you know. So my brain is just like in that fight or flight state where it's just like, okay, what's next? It doesn't end here, so let's find our next thing. And I know I'm not in the place to go audition but I just want to see that there are other opportunities out there like just looking up audition breakdowns after getting a rejection gives you like that glimmer of hope like oh right there are still other opportunities out there for media audition I'm gonna do a little bit of scrolling through Facebook and see some upcoming musical theater auditions just to see what's going on and what's happening around here but I also like in addition to Facebook which so interesting yes Facebook I use Facebook for finding auditions I don't use Facebook for anything else they always make Facebook groups so Facebook is a great place to go and look up auditions like literally type in the title of the musical the little mermaid 2023 musical theater auditions pull that up and you'll start seeing pages conversations and stuff like that that is a great place to find auditions and i also like to use the platform backstage as well as actors access here is a little peruse of the back end of backstage where you can search popular acting voiceover modeling oh my gosh content creator jobs too that's new oh my gosh that shows you how long i have not been on the site um you can filter out through gender location age range and all that good stuff that is on your resume uh so if you have an account you just like sign in if not you can just search through freely but if you want to do more than that and not only view the open calls that they have that you can attend in person and want to submit to some of these roles you will need to sign up for an account on backstage i actually have an account with actors access because that is where my agent submits me for other projects for film tv and commercial I quickly took a screenshot of the strike compliant roles available notification that popped up when I signed into casting networks, basically saying, did you know that SAG after a strike doesn't affect all projects? Um, and they're probably letting you know that because that was a big misconception going around when the first, when the strike first started. So they have emailed out and posted this quick guide on their website about what projects as actors are able to work on, as well as what we should follow in so we can be in support of this strike. What I actually need to do is reach out to some photographers and see if I can film like the behind the scenes while I'm getting them done. Since I'm looking to do a whole behind the scenes, I want to make sure that I reach out to like a couple of photographers and make sure that they're comfortable with it. I'm going to reach out, do a little feelers and see if anyone gives me the green light so we can go get these headshots done. I reached out to some photographers and pitched some dates to get on the books. And I actually also received an email about a notification of a theater season letting me know that they're actually going to be doing All Shook Up like next summer. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's like a huge bucket list audition for me. Yeah. 
which also that's a tip for you actors when I do find theaters that are nearby and I would love to do a production with them I like to get on their mailing list for their auditions So anytime they announce their season you can see what productions they'll be doing and you can start getting ready So that's what I need to be doing looking in the distance uh, Something that actually already is on the books. I'm taking a dance class for the first time in a long 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 time uh, but with the 20 whatever girls we are gonna be taking a burlesque dance class I have never danced burlesque. I don't know anything about burlesque There is like a level of like anxiousness because I don't pick up choreography that easily like it takes me a minute to learn it Once I learn it, I'm good But the steps upon learning it like my short term is not there Like you just showed me a dance move and I'm like I lost it. Give me again. You read me a line I'm like I lost it. Give it to me again. I have good long-term memory. It's the short term So I'm extremely thankful to be going with these girls. It will make this first time back experience so much more like <sighs> I have no idea what to expect from this dance class experience, but I'm hoping I can find little moments of like, ah, yes, I love to just move my body and feel alive. Like, that's why I do it. When I'm singing or dancing or acting and I'm like on that stage or just doing something like that, I just feel so alive. I am so proud of myself for continuing on things again because I was really, I really, was really, really scared to do it again. I just was scared of that feeling and it's so crazy because like all I was afraid of was a feeling at the end of the day it's just that feeling of that rejection you know you did get cast or something nothing's really happening to me it's just was scared of that feeling and I'm just like so done of being afraid you know because what's worse than being afraid is you being afraid and not actually doing it that I'm fearful of that I think I'm more afraid of that the fear of the fear stopped me from trying and wanting to do that like and I have found this like new love for life and this passion and I am just so happy that you guys are here and that I'm here and we're doing it together. Not this being the second video I get corny at the end, but like thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you guys next time when I try to go to a dance studio for the first time. I haven't even been to like a dance studio. What am I gonna wear?